Coach, go ahead. Yeah, good good ball game. Two really offensive clubs that have been playing really well lately. Um, you know, I, I thought it was just overall it was about who was going to be able to get uh, some people out on the mound. And, um, you know, Klecker gave us uh, four innings and then turned it over to Luke and kind of settled the the game down for us, which was, which was nice. Um, but, yeah, it's one game, and obviously – that's a really good team that that um, that uh, we're, we might face again. So, um, but I, I thought we played well. Questions for student athletes. Play when Cole bobbled the ball. Um, did you talk to him after that, and did he think that the ball was in his glove? We didn't really talk just because he was getting ready to go hit, but it was more just like a, a hug, you know, great job, that type of thing. But he saved me plenty of time, so just tried to return the favor. And uh, that play, there was a little bit of a collision. You followed the ball. Can you talk me through like your thoughts after making that play and during the play? Honestly, yeah, there, there wasn't a bunch of thoughts. I kind of just saw Cole go for the ball, and then I saw him kind of like lean towards the bag, like you said, and I saw it was on the ground. So it was kind of just reaction, trying to get the out, and then nothing really after that, just trying to go, score some more runs, and, and keep my team in the game. Games kind of like this the last couple of weeks. Uh, what's going well for you right now? Uh, for me personally, just uh, keeping it simple, keeping the approach simple, and uh, being able to lean on my teammates, uh, you know, knowing that, you know, if I don't get the job done, that the next guy will. Uh, and that's kind of been our whole mindset this uh, these last few games. And Luke, what's it like watching him hit? It's hard to put the every time he comes to the plate, it feels like something special is about to happen. And I feel that way for really a lot of our hitters, you know. We have some of the, the best offensive, offensive minds and offensive players in the country, so – we're always down in the bullpen, and, and we're super stoked to go up and, and watch what these guys can do. I believe, of course, you've been in this uh, uh, situation before, but can you talk me through your feelings of just pitching in a regional? I mean, it's something special. I think college baseball is is one of the, the greatest sports that we have, and to be out there and to, to be with my brothers and be with the guys that I love is just an amazing feeling. Luke, did you have any particular game plan you were trying to execute against a very potent Arizona offense? Yeah, I mean, they, they have a great team and a great offense, but I really think our game plan is always just get ahead and try and establish the fastball and really just let the defense work behind us and, and give our offense a chance to go score some runs. Braden, you guys did a lot of damage with two strikes uh, in the first couple of innings against Arizona starter. Um, were you looking for a certain pitch in those situations or was that just part of your kind of two-strike approach? I mean, uh, I feel like we've been working really hard as a team, working on two-strike hitting, and that's something that we pride ourselves in. Uh, just knowing that, uh, that we're going to go up there and get the job done. Uh, you know, we don't get scared with two strikes. Uh, we go up there just thinking the same mindset the whole time. Just go up there and get a good pitch to hit, put a good swing on it. All right, fellas. Congratulations. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you. Take questions for Coach Carlos. Hey, Brad. Coach, uh, against Arizona's starter, uh, there were eight two-strike counts and got five hits plus a hit batter. Is it just a matter of um, a combination of the, your player's approach, but also like mistakes from the the, the pitcher? Um, I haven't obviously I haven't seen the replay of of the pitches or anything like that, but I thought um, our guys did a really good job of um, you know making it difficult with two strikes because I think it's really difficult two strike hits and two out hits. Um, as a former pitcher, I know those really hurt, and you know it just seems like. You know, once you get a couple of them, it's in the back of your mind in terms of maybe trying to make the next pitch better. And, you know, when you're on the good side of that thing, it's it's a lot of fun. We've been plenty of times on the opposite side of that. And, you know, ultimately our guys did a really good job and, and you know, fought off some difficult pitches and then got a pitch that they were able to to put, put into play and found some holes. Coach, what were your overall thoughts on the team defense today? I thought it was really good. You know, I think, shoot, one of the hardest hit balls I've seen all year was uh, the ground ball by Davis to to Silva that we were able to get the lead out on, you know. And, and um, you know, I thought, you know, Braden, I thought one of the bigger plays was that probably went a little bit unnoticed um, with two outs. I think there was a guy on first base and and kind of a, a ball that got in on, on I think, their leadoff guy that, um, you know, Braden made a really nice play on on the run to make to get the third out you know because obviously we don't really want to get to davis and romero um and we were able to get out of that inning because of that play so um overall i think you know we've talked a ton in terms of you know pitching 
defense and timely hitting. And if you do two of those things, you're going to have a chance. And if you do all three, there's a pretty good chance you're going to win. And I think we did, you know, two of those three, maybe all three. There was a play where Braden left third. There was a, a pop-up towards the mound, and Trey came over from second to cover third. Um, can you talk me through how such a small thing like mm-hmm. that can make such a big impact in the game? Well, those are the things that you don't really take notice of, you know, for the most part until they happen, right? We practice all those different things every single – not every single day, but we practice them in the fall. We practice them during the spring. And it's just really, it's just an awareness by, you know, um, a veteran player like Trey, you know, in terms of understanding that, Hey, there's no, going to be nobody at third. Everybody, you know, came to the mound to catch the pop-up and Trey was, you know, had his head up and understood where he needed to be. So, you know, I think that says a lot in terms of their preparation and, and um, you know, being in tune with the game and understanding where they need to be. There's always somewhere to go. You know, very rarely do you stand and watch a play on defense. And if you are, you're probably doing something wrong. Arizona's offense has been, what was your message to your pitching staff earlier this week or today about how to attack them? Well, really it came down to, you know, we, when you're facing a top 10 offense, like, like they are, you know, you, you really can't shoot yourself in the foot prior to some of those big, big at bats. And, you know, I think they, they had, four swings and four home runs. Two of them were solo, you know, three home runs, but two solo and one two run home run. And I thought Klecker did a really good job of responding in the first inning after getting the first two and then the double by Davis and then the home run by Romero. And I thought he did an awesome job with the next step bat. I think he got a strikeout. I think that was the big thing is, is there, that's going to happen when you face a potent lineup like Arizona, they're going to run into some baseballs and it's how you respond to those situations. I think, ends up if you win or lose because there was definitely some baseballs hit hard, but I thought our guys didn't blink. They kept attacking and kept executing pitches and gave themselves a chance. From your seat, what's been the key to Braden Taylor's play over the last couple of weeks in particular? Well, I think anytime it's about swinging at the strikes and taking the balls, you know, I think um, when Braden does that, he's pretty good. Any hitter, when they do that, they're pretty good. But I think everybody around him, um, started getting in a groove as well. And I think that kind of took a little bit of Braden trying to do too much and maybe trying to do too much by swinging at pitches that he probably wouldn't swing at. And so I think you, you have a, a lineup now where um, everybody's kind of doing their part and Braden probably isn't trying to do too much. And when you're not trying to do too much and all of a sudden your talent takes over, like Braden is a very talented player, you give yourself a really good chance to be be successful. But I think that was probably the middle stretch of the season. The first time I ever saw Braden, you know, not um, the first time I ever saw Braden question his ability to hit. And at some point, every hitter, every great hitter, doesn't matter. They're going to go through that. And it comes back to fundamentals. It comes back to swinging at strikes and taking balls. And that's what he did. He never panicked. He just kept grinding away. And, you know, thankfully he's, he's back to the Braden Taylor. We all know. Are you ready to name a starter for tomorrow's game? No, not really. Uh, Higgins Smith probably going to pitch for Arkansas. Yeah. I'm sure you probably saw him yeah, in we, high we school. Him. Yeah. Uh, but what are your thoughts on seeing him? Well, I mean, it's a dominant left-handed fastball, you know, that um, with a with some attitude to go with it in a good way. You know, I think um, very confident. He's very confident in the fastball. I mean, we're we're going to have our work cut out for us, and we know that, which is going to be a lot of fun. And um, Coach Hobbs does a great job with all their pitchers over there. Uh, they're going to be ready to go, and I know um, we're going to have to be ready on our side of things to, to um, you know, hopefully give them, uh, give them a game. And then you played Arkansas, obviously, second game of the year. What do you see different about them from what you saw so early in the season, and have, have you kept up with them this season? Yeah, of course you do. I think, you know, they're a way different team than we played at the beginning of the year, and so are we. You know, they've had to deal with a ton of injuries, and – um you know, we've had to deal with some injuries on the mound. And, you know, they've had a lot of guys, you know, step up in roles that they probably th- thought they weren't going to be playing it. You know, you think of Holt at second base in terms of Stovall getting injured and, and guys like that. You know, it's kind of that next man up mentality, which all great teams do that. And I think, um, you know, we've followed them, obviously, just because anytime you play a team and if you beat them, you always are pulling for them because of the RPI. And they've had a great season. And that's why they're playing at home and, and the, the three overall seeds. So, 
you know, we're excited. It's going to be a phenomenal atmosphere tomorrow. And uh, we're super excited to, to go compete. Coach, congratulations. Thank you. Appreciate it.